This video is sponsored by Studio Bebop and YugiohPrices.com for all your pricing needs. Now available on the App Store. For more information, check the description below. What's up guys, this is Lentheo coming at you with a card discussion video on a card called Stoic Challenge that came out in the Number Hunters set. Now, this card I did a review on it, um, or like a thoughts video on it, excuse me, um, before it even came out. And, or it might have just come out, I think it was. Um, and um, if you've seen my heretic videos, you've seen that I play three of these. Um, and you will, if you, if you don't know what the card does, I'll, I'll talk about it in a sec. But the video, the point of this video is to kind of show people and tell people um, like how good this card just is. It's not just more of a win more card. It actually stands up on its own and it wins games actually on its own. You would be surprised at how many games this has won me just by a simple attack and that's it. Um, with like Gaia. So uh, so yeah, so I'll get into the, the effect. So it's an equip spell card from Number Hunter set. Um, the effect reads as follows. Uh, you can only control one stoic challenge. Equip only to a face-up XYZ monster that has an XYZ material. It gains 600 attack for each XYZ material attached to a monster you control. And any battle damage is doubled, but the effects cannot be activated. During your opponent's end phase, send this card to the graveyard. When this card leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. Okay, so I'm going to break it down, um, the effect basically, and then I'll go into kind of a little bit more detail. Um, but yeah, so you can only control one. It's very basic, you know, that's simple enough. Equipped to a face-up XYZ material that has XYZ material, uh, XYZ monster that has XYZ materials. So you can't equip it to kind of like some, something that doesn't have an XYZ uh, material. Has to be at least one or more. Gain 600 attack for each XYZ material attached to a monster you control. Now this is where the a lot of the um, kind of like controversy and disagreement comes in, um, because some people say that you only get the boost for the materials equipped to the uh, equipped to the monster that this card is equipped to, um, and I say you get a boost for each material equipped to a monster on your side of the field. Now I have emailed Konami twice about this and they have both confirmed what I say. You gain 600 attack for each material on your side of the field. Um, and yeah, a lot of people disagree. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of like do a print screen of the, um, I'll show you a print screen of the email from them uh, in this video somewhere. Um, but yeah, so that's the very important part. It gains 600 attack for each material on your side of the field. If you have two monsters, say, um, you know, Utopia and another Utopia, um, I know, pro play, right? Two Utopias. Um, if you have two Utopias on the field, both with both materi uh, materials intact, and you equip a Stoic Challenge to one of the Utopias, Utopia A, um, it will gain 1200 attack from the Utopia that it's equipped to, and the other 1200 attack from another Utopia. So that's four instances of 600 attack. So that means it gains 2400. Putting Utopia on, 4900. So that's pretty big, and then battle damage is doubled when you, um, when you uh, battle a monster on your opponent's side of the field. Um, okay, so that, that's kind of like one of the most important parts to uh, go over. So moving on. Um, yeah, it doubles the battle damage uh, involving the opponent's monster. It's doubled, uh, but its effects cannot be activated. Um, now, I did check this one as well. It refers to the monster that's equipped to this. Its effects can't be activated, not your opponent's. Otherwise, this would be the most busted card in the world. I still think it's ridiculously good. But, um, yeah, so the you equip this to, for example, a larval chain. You can't, you know, you can't activate its effects. Um... But one very important thing as well, because you mainly use it with Gaia Dragon, and that's why it is in my Heretics. Use it with Gaia Dragon, um, and Gaia Dragon's piercing effect does not activate. It is a continuous effect, therefore Stoic Challenge does not negate that effect. The, uh, Stoic Challenge, I'll read it again, very specifically states, but its effects cannot be activated. Um, 
Gaia's piercing is um, a continuous effect that doesn't activate, so it still goes through. So, for example, you've got a Gaia uh, equipped with this, you attack into a token, a uh, Dragosite token or Dandelion token, um, you still do get the piercing, and obviously it doubles. So that's what I mean by this wins games on its own. Um, and then the last bit is, um, during your opponent's end phase, send this card from the field to the graveyard, and when this card leaves the field, destroy the equipped monster. So uh, that's kind of very standard. It only it only stays for one turn. If you don't, normally you only use this when you think, oh, I, I've, I've got a chance to go for game here just because of this one thing. Like if your opponent leaves a Drago sack out and the token, guy charger. Um, so... Yeah, that's that's kind of um, kind of the breakdown of the effect. Now going into the um, the card itself, um, why play it? Paul Cooper um, topped one of the events. I can't even remember what event. It wasn't too long ago. Um, with a very very basic heretic. Um, sorry, so really stop playing with a heretic build. It was like three card D, three of all the. Um, Three of all the heretics, and then like three Vader and three um, Scarecrow, and you might think, well, that seems to be like an optimum build. It worked for him. Um, yes, that is fair enough. That is one way of running heretics, but heretics can be run in multiple different ways. Um, and I just think that having this card in your arsenal is just too good. Um, it the one of the main things, and I spoke to Pusley about this, and me and him have always been pro this card. Um, it kind of allows you to not be completely disrupted by Vela. So you go into your Atom, you detach the Vela. You kind of sit and duck there, aren't you? You're just like, okay, well, I'll overlay into Guy Charger. Got two, to, two, um, two materials now. Quick put stock challenge. Guy Charger kind of goes up by one two, so it's on three eight, and you know that that that's really big. And then you can start doing battle damage, like you do double the damage on three eight. Uh, depends on what the difference is. Um, that's nothing. That's nothing to be kind of like laughed at, and sniffed at, and they still have to deal with that. Um, their next turn, it puts something. It puts a big beater in their way. Um, so in normal cases where they veil your atom, you're just like, oh crap. Okay, kind of hope for the best. Um, with the hand traps and maybe any back row you might have set, um, and it, it that that was just kind of it. Um, but now with Stoic Challenge, you can actually still push. You can be like, okay, I'll make the best of a bad situation and kind of do more damage to them. And they just don't expect it. And especially when you you couple this with trap stun, because um, I play three trap stuns. You trap stun in your turn and just go off. Um, also helps you with Sue, but this video isn't about Trapston. This video is about Stoic Challenge. And um, Pusley got in contact with Paul Cooper and asked, said, what do you think of this? And he just said, not needed. This is just a win more card. And I disagree. This card wins games on its own. It's not more of a, oh, I, I have game anyway. Let's do this to do overkill. Um, this thing's just like, okay, well, I can attack. And in one go, I can kill you. Like, one attack, if you have, like, two XYZ material, if you have two XYZs out and this with Gaia, you, you basically, like, one attack's going to nearly kill them. Like, you can do a hell of a lot, especially if it's a Dragosac token, you absolutely destroy it. Or a plant token. And they are, vi they are like, relevant, so it's it's not it's not completely impossible for you to run into something like that. Um, and it, it, just, it just makes it kind of good to have um and it also kind of makes hand traps irrelevant um for example you've got you've got a guy charger and you've got like a an m7 or something like that um, and you attack with the guy charger to destroy the monster and then tack for game with the um with the m7 they drop a battle fader they drop in the they drop a um uh, a scarecrow or something like that. It's just like, uh oh, this isn't good because you haven't killed them. If that guy charger was equipped with the stoic challenge, you'd kill them there and then. So it kind of it kind of restricts them from using their hand traps as well. So I just I just feel that this card is severely, severely, severely overlooked. Um it doesn't work in every deck obviously. Um Constellas can use this card quite nicely because you can go into Hades and overlay and then overlay and then overlay and it's it's just it's just good. You just build up a lot and you just equip it with the Stoic Challenge and then you just you, you kind of like away. Um because if you over if you go into Hades, that's two uh, XYZs, then you overlay into M7, that's three. Overlay into Guy, that's four. So just from that, just from that one thing, you gain um, two four. So it's just really nice. But that's kind of basically it, guys. 
Um, hopefully this video uploads fine because I am in my new place and I don't know how the upload is really with the internet. I know what the upload speed is, um, but you know, you never know. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, hopefully this clears up all of the uh, confusion over Stoic Challenge. If anyone tries to um, tries to disagree with me or prove me wrong with how this card works, I'm just going to link them to this video now. Um, it's official Konami ruling to say that you gain XYZ, uh, the number of XYZ material 600 times the number of XYZ materials on your side of the field. So that's it. That's you know you can't deny that now. Um, so yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, catch you later.